Hey guys, this one's um, gonna be a little bit of a roller coaster of a video. Uh, even though we got a really nice soft start to it, um, I'm just gonna be spanning over a long period of time here just to showcase a bunch of different upgrades that I do to my van. And while I was making the video and filming it, it was between everything else and I, I it was kind of weird. I just sort of had this idea that I was gonna share this in this particular way. Um, and now that I'm all the way here with the final edit, uh, this is it. So um, I hope you enjoy it and uh, here we go. Those might be them right there. Hello. Hi. There they are, you guys. New springs. There's one in here that's the original one. I believe that's the one with the yellow tag on it. Um, so these ones have got a bigger wire on it. And that when I step on them in the store, they've got noticeably more resistance than the other ones. Anyway, I just, uh... all right, let's go. These guys actually set me up with the company that made the new springs for my van. Anyway, they're now gonna give it a try to see if they can get the springs back into the struts for me. In the meantime, I got stuff to do, so I'm gonna go do that. Sewed up some new covers. That's it, did that in the last little bit. Buddy. <laughs> Man. They got the springs in. Yeah, man, those new springs are in there. I can't wait to load this up in the van and see how it's actually gonna work.
Corey's just on a phone call in there, but there's a good chance he's gonna be able to take the whole thing in and do everything that I need to get done on the van. These are the other parts I've got. So this has to do with the steering system. And then I've got new um, sway bar links, which are right here. So getting this done here is actually gonna save me some time, which is a little bit more valuable at the moment than a little bit of money. Anyway, I'm gonna go see how they're doing and uh, set up an appointment. Oh yeah. Um, maybe I should put those in my van right now so they're out of the way. But I'm gonna be back here Tuesday morning next week. So they're gonna do the whole thing for me. And all in, it's gonna cost me shy of 600 bucks to get all that work done. Uh, including putting the springs back together in the struts. I think that's awesome. It's fair, for sure. They say they can do the whole thing in three hours. That's, that's great. It would take me probably all day and part of another day to do it myself. Anyway, um, it pays to use somebody that has experience with this kind of thing. They know what they're doing. They have the tools. They got the shop. They can just get it done. And... Um, Win win all the way around. I love these things. I know they're just growing here in some industrial area, but. Super good. so it'll be competitive like there'll be a lot of people in there but I'm gonna get that in there fit it in fit it in as you can see I'm doing some maintenance on my max air fan and uh, the reason I'm doing it is because when it's running it's got this squeak that goes squeak 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 every revolution so anyway I thought I'd try doing some cleaning out of the motor and I pulled it apart and it I didn't realize it was going to come apart that much but it's exposed the brushes and all that and so there is a bearing in there and I'm going to lubricate that but I got to pull the wire down and right now I'm struggling with it a little bit can't get a regular screwdriver in there there we go so I'm using I'll show you what I'm using I'm using this thing here, which is basically like a little screwdriver ratchet. And uh, you can get it into really tight areas, but it's it's pretty hard to stabilize on a screw. And um, I could maybe use a slightly shorter bit, but I just grabbed this one. So anyway, two hands, but I think that did it. Let's see, yep, there we go. Awesome. Okay. I suppose that's part of the reason why it's squeaking is it's just all black. I'll have to give it a shot of compressed air. I gave it a real good clean down. The um, the blade system was covered in like dust and under the dust was a bunch of grease. I think that was cause I was cooking bacon and stuff like that in the van and I think a lot of that just ended up going up into the fan itself and then accumulating in there. So I used some degreaser to clean most of that off. And uh, these are still a little bit up in there. Anyway, that looks a lot better, and I think it's I think it's good. It seems it seems totally quiet now, which is awesome. Yeah. Anyway, a little a little service on the motor, and uh, we're good to go. It was a little bit of a job, but um, that's going to give me a little bit more quiet in the inside of the van, and. Uh, 
now I know how that thing is, you know, put together on the inside. Anyway, I'll go ahead and get my screen up. All right, I got some more stuff for the van. Another little project to do here. This was something that came from a company called Wolfbox. They make a dash cam system and I've been wanting one of these particular ones for a while. They finally just launched this brand new model and they shipped it out to me. So there's a camera right there with a little sticky on it. And this thing here is gonna go right over top of the existing mirror. It does work as a mirror, but it's also gonna work as a screen for this camera right here, which I'm gonna mount into the back of the van somewhere. So, and then there's a harness here to plug it into your 12 volt system. And there's a GPS in this particular one that's more for driving, recording, security, stuff like that. So let's go ahead and get this on there. It should be a pretty quick install. I don't see this being a big problem, so. Here we go, that's how it fits on there. So. Oh yeah, that's pretty slick. Go take a look at the back setup. Right there. Perfect. So, I'll run a bit more Cicaflex in there, but this will be my wire here for the camera. So I'm just temporarily putting that there, just to try it out. Perfect. It's pointed up at the sky, that's why it's all blue. But, uh, that's good. We're in business. I in it. Finish that up back there. And, uh, get all this cleaned up. Be with you in just a moment. So back here, I did put a little Sika Flex there on the wire that came through. Um, and there's a bit of extra up here. I left that because I, as I said, I might relocate it. I just have it temporarily in that spot. And then uh, the wire comes down. Oh, I gotta tuck this away, but that's the, uh, the wire for the reverse lights. So that's connected into that. And then in here, I ran the wires up along here and then all the way down into here. And then there's the screen there. So. There was some extra and I just shoved it down in this A-pillar uh, cover right here. And I did mount the GPS so it's down there. It's actually like underneath the front piece of plastic there. And then uh, the charger, the plug goes down there as well. And I have it running through my counter right there. It's, it's not the nicest way to set that up, but and it's already it caused a bit of a problem, but Anyway, it's plugged in right there. I'll just have to be careful with it for the time being, but I will relocate that over there. So, key goes in, turn on the van, and there we go. Um, okay, so I'm gonna change that to kilometers. This is upside down, so let's go to the settings. Uh, do, 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 oh, right there, rear image, flip, there we go, there we go, that looks better, and, um, let's change, speed unit, kilometers an hour, there we go in Canada, so we do kilometers an hour. And cool, the GPS is telling me that I'm going north. That's actually a really cool feature. Okay, sweet. So what I'm gonna do is uh, just find a place where I can back up against something and uh, see how that looks. Look 
just in my mirror and I look back, I don't see as much. So that's really nice. bit off and I feel like I'm even between the lines so the camera is like needs to be angled a bit I'll have to change that So that's a big gap. So what I'm seeing is that painted line right there is right here on this part. So I'm looking down like this. So it'd be nice if the camera's out further like this. Maybe I can see down like that. That's why I didn't do a permanent installation guys because I might change where that actually goes. And maybe Maybe I need to put it right around here. I could delete this and run the wire through there. I just went into the store there and got some, uh, some chips actually. And some salad. So overall, I'm pretty happy with this addition. Um, I've rolled around with it now for quite a while since um, since I installed that thing. So um, I'm actually quite a bit ahead right now as far as the location of where I'm at. Uh, but you'll find out all that later. It's kind of a strange video in that way. Um, anyway, guys, if you're interested in this sort of thing, I'll provide a link down in the description. Basically, just you can get this on Amazon. Um, and this is the G900 model, Wolfbox. G900. That's 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 the make and model of this particular thing. I've changed the way I do my reverse. So when I put it in reverse and I'm driving, it'll switch to this view. This is the one I like because I can see uh, basically the bottom part of my door right here. And I get those lines that go out into the back and I can see everything to the left and right. It gives a really nice view of everything back there. Anyway, let's carry on with the rest of the video. Morning guys. So, uh, yeah, I'm just getting a coffee this morning. I just woke up over here um, and uh, I got my springs and stuff. All my parts are in the van, so I'm ready to go and take this in and get all that done. And uh, yeah, I don't know. There's nothing that interesting about that stuff. It's just, it's like work, but these are custom made springs in those struts for this van so it is kind of a big deal for me and uh, i've been waiting to see this through for a long time and uh yeah and then as soon as that's done I'm, i gotta get my van cleaned up organized ready to hit the road and uh, i'm gonna hit the road i've got a uh, my mom is coming to visit here soon so i'm gonna be uh heading over to vancouver i'll probably uh I spend a little bit of time over there um, and relax for, for a day or two with my friend Lonnie and then um, and then go see my mom when she's uh, she's in town. Then I'm going to pick her up and we're going to come out to the island and do a little stuff out in the island because we got some family and stuff out this way. So it'll be good for her to see them. So that's kind of it. Good morning. What can we get for you? Good morning. Um, may I please have a large Americano? Just black? Black, yeah, absolutely. That's everything. All right, then. Two number three, please. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. <sighs> this was expensive. Like, to buy all these parts, to get the springs made, to get them put in there to then come and do this sort of stuff like I spent a lot of money on this
and it's all because my vehicle weighs as much as it does. It kind of hovers right around the um, like the maximum gross vehicle weight rating. So it's uh, right now it's below that rating. Um, the the other there was a day where I weighed it and I was like. I guess I was loaded up with a few extra things, but I was just over it by a few pounds. And, uh, yeah, anyway, that's full time though. Like this van build is full time weight on the van. So those springs up in the front, like I can't even jam my pinky finger in, in between them right now. They're just, they're too tight. So this will help. I'm really hoping that, um, Mason over at Dundalk Springs kind of dialed this in right away. He did say, unfortunately, there might be some trial and error to this thing, and he did his best to try and get it exactly to where he feels mathematically it should be. So hopefully, hopefully this is good. Um, but once these go in, I'll have to take it around, drive it a bit, and sort of get a sense and feel about how it is and decide whether or not I need to make some alterations to it. And if I do need to make alterations to it, it means we have to make the springs again and either make them stronger or less strong and then go through this process all over again. And Mason over at Dundas Springs, he saved all the specs for those springs that he made for me. So if any of you guys out there have a Dodge Grand Caravan, you know, around this year make model and you want to upgrade the suspension, you could call them up and be like, hey, can we just get the same spring rate that Joseph got from Sharing the Wild? And he'd be like, no problem. So you can just pull it up make it and uh, you just pick it up but uh, in any case I don't know if that's gonna if, if these are gonna work but uh, I think they're gonna make things better so we'll see uh, Corey just rolled in in this really cool truck um, and he's friends with John actually from J5 Custom Vans so it's a small world how this all works out uh, those two go wheeling together in the backcountry they do a bunch of four by fouring and, uh, but anyway, yeah, guys, I'm going to get these, uh, these finally put into my van. Plus I got a bunch of spark parts here for the front. This is stuff that John and I didn't get around to doing. So, uh, some steering parts and connectors and all this stuff's got grease nipples on it as well. So I can service all that as, uh, as I need to. And, um, <clears throat> there are currently spacers in here that help to give this a little bit more lift but you can see these springs are like this one i can get my finger in on the other side i can't get my finger in between there yeah see there's no way so we're gonna delete the spacers in this case and hopefully we're, we don't even need them at all and the van will sit uh, a little bit better so what i'll do is i'll measure it right now so i got an idea i'm just gonna measure right to the top of the wheel well and we got 30 inches right there 30 inches as well Let's see what kind of beer or something these guys drink maybe i can get them a case of beer Ooh. anyway this is a this is a great segue from getting my van into the shop and coming up here nick just picked me up and he's like you want to go for a hike i'm like sure so here we are um, but we're going to head back to his house. I'm going to get to work on the van. That's going to be in his van building video. So that'll be separate footage. But uh, yeah, later today I'll pick my van up and uh, I don't know. I'll just take it for a little boot around and see how it feels. Um, I probably won't do any sort of bigger drives with it right away. But I'll try to um, put, you know, put some time aside and take it for a good little cruise around this area and sort of see how everything is. Um, that'll be a part of this video so anyway this is just yeah sure great cool. there's beautiful there's place and the moon up there is looking really good and i love the sound of the ravens those are good <laughs> it's not for me it's for the guys that are working on my van i got them a case of lucky too <laughs> oh man. Oh yeah. Yeah, I can get my whole I can get my thumb in there easy. Alright, we'll see how these guys do in the long run. And uh Yeah, I forgot to tell them to spin my tires around. Okay, I'll have to do that later. 
There we go. We gained three quarters of an inch on that so far. They'll probably settle, but three quarters of an inch more than with those with the spacer. So that's good. And that's probably actually a little bit closer to what factory ride height would be anyway. And definitely a nicer balance to it. Anyway, let's go give this thing a drive. I should climb under there and have a look, actually. That's great, man. This is gonna be a nice, nice little fixer up in the front. Can't wait to, can't wait to, can't wait to, can't wait. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a difference. This is not sloppy at all. This is feeling really good. I hit something before and be like, ooh, ooh all over the place. This is, this is feeling a lot smoother. Holy shit, this is awesome. Okay. Oh my god, I'm so freaking happy about this. <laughs> Whew, it's hot. I gotta put on the AC. I'm blowing the fan. Ooh. It's like a different vehicle, really. It's like it, it's like all of a sudden it's just really good. I know it's just a soccer mom van and all that sort of stuff, a little minivan, family vehicle, but front wheel drive, all that stuff, but this van has been a lot to me and uh, I really love it. Okay, so initial impressions are really good. Um, I do want to drive it around and test it out a bit more, but I'm going to keep working on Nick's van. I got to get this job done and uh, I can take this out for a little ride here in a bit. So hang tight while I do that and uh, we'll see you in just a second. video because it's just over this long timeline and if you haven't followed it by now you might be confused because it started way back when and now it's like past several videos as well and I'm not sure how they're all getting released but these are my old struts that came out of the van uh, these are the stock springs that came out of the new struts um, so essentially what I did is I bought the same kind of strut as a as these and they're in the van with those new springs made by Dundoff Springs and uh, so far impressions have been pretty good but uh, I just did a measurement a little while ago and they've settled about an inch and a quarter from where they were when I picked the van up at the shop in any case these ones I had a spacer put in and this is the spacer that I, I bought 
It's kind of goofy in a sense because it's a polyurethane spacer and it's made well. The only thing I don't like about it is you have to change the hardware out in the strut for these longer bolts that came with the spacers. It's complicated to change that out and I really didn't have the opportunity to do it with these in the van and explain to those guys that you got to pull these apart and anyway it was just, I'm not going to get into it it just didn't make any sense um, so I'm thinking about putting a spacer back into those struts because now they're actually sitting lower than what they were sitting with these ones even though these ones were totally compressed these had a spacer and it was sitting an inch higher than it is right now now it's sitting quite low in the front so I'm thinking to build a spacer I'm gonna make my own You guys now want to see the welding clip because it's too intense. <laughs> I can understand me here seeing it just with these on is going to be like ultraviolet light and all that stuff. But when it comes through on the screen, it's just as white as the screen goes. I mean, it might be a bright video, but it's not going to be. Yeah, tell us in the comments how much you enjoy. Yeah, how much how much do you enjoy <laughs> welding being clips? Arc, being arc flashed. <laughs> oh yeah, that's that's a fancy little. Wow, you've done this before. I have. It's my swivel seat base template. Huh. Right, this is the heavy metal part. <laughs> for a little paint job. After all that messing around with that spacer, it didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work, it was too big. Uh, so, uh, and then after all that, John's like, let me see those other ones. So then he was looking at those. He's like, well, what if we just turn this and do this? We could get those bolts in and then we could use the original spacers. And I'm like, oh man, I wish we talked about this a while ago. Anyway, well, that's shop work. So <laughs> we are fixing it up and going with the original spacers. He looks a little bit tired. I'm all right. Yeah. If they had smell vision, you could smell this burnt rubber or just... Oh, I, I, I can smell it now, yeah. Isn't that nice? Yeah, that works good. So we just notched out that aluminum plate there so that we can shove these longer bolts into the holes where the original bolts were so we get to change the hardware out. And then weld it in. Kind of lower this down and put it back on the road.